anyone out there tried yak meat? It is so delicious. And I know a lot of people are asking, Jeffrey, are you ever gonna sell yak meat? Absolutely. Delicious yak meat coming soon. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. We have so much Jeffree Star drama to talk about. And I went to Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton haul. And I'm gonna show you what I bought at Louis Vuitton at the end of this video. So if you wanna watch what I bought, I'm gonna do a Louis Vuitton unboxing at the end of this video. So I used to do Louis Vuitton unboxings all the time, but some of y'all said it wasn't relatable. And I was like, you know what? No, I bought this one. I think it's super cute and I wanna share it with you guys. And so I wanna show you what I bought at Louis Vuitton at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that, because some of you are into it, some of you are not. I just, I love bags, I love like the bouginess, whatever. Okay, I literally just got back to my makeup looks a little bit oily or whatever. It's because of that. But I used a new primer today and I actually was like really shook by it. And we're gonna get into Jeffree Star drama. We're, we're just, hold on, grab a snack, come on back. I used the new Cover FX. This is not sponsored, although I should be. This was actually pretty good. Like this primer, when I put it on, it was very like sticky and it made my makeup stick. So if you like the way my makeup looks, maybe it was just fine foundation. I got it in my box charm box, but anyways. Um, I just got back in from the Creme Shop uh, launch party here in Hollywood because I'm staying in the Hollywood Hills right now. And I came back with my goodie bag. So I'll show you what the Creme Shop gave me in the Hollywood party goodie bag because they had lots of new and stuff like that. So I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so before we get into the Jeffree Star drama, I want to say this video is sponsored the house by Vance Global. Yes, guys, I finally get around to talk to you guys about this. Vance Global, they have amazing gummies. If you're into taking edibles, definitely check out Vance Global. It's a small company doing big things over there. And I'm telling you guys, so many of you say, oh, well, you know, I like this one. And like, well, what's inside of it? Well, what is it? Oh, you know, it's that good stuff. No, 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 no. Vance Global tells you exactly where you're getting. They have an ingredients list so you know what you're getting when you buy. And now at Vance Global, they're proud to announce they offer subscription services so you can save money and get your goodies delivered to you on a monthly subscription basis. So if you're into edibles, if you're into gummies, THC, Delta 8, they got you covered over there. And there's a lot more. So definitely I encourage you to check out the website, see what they got. There's something for everybody at VanceGlobal.com. And if you're not into edibles, they have amazing merch as well. So thank you Vance Global for sponsoring these videos. You guys have purchased from them. DM me saying that you really love it. You can use code RICHLUX to save you some huge coin at checkout so thank you Vance Global for sponsoring this video I love you guys so so much and hopefully you guys check it out and tag me when you get it or let me know all that drama okay so let's talk because I feel like we need to talk first of all let's talk about the ex okay the Andre Marhold so Jeffree Star's ex-boyfriend Andre Marhold went to his social media and he posted this girl and you already know I have all the receipts ain't no scandal I can't handle you come here for all the tea, all the time. So Andre Marhold posted this right here, and it basically says, off this app for three months, see y'all later. And then a little emoji like this, right? Which I think it means Houston, but I don't know. I think it means like rock on or like surfer or whatever. But like three months. So a lot of people are speculating that he is going to join a reality TV show like a Celebrity Big Brother. I don't think it's Dancing with the Stars. Maybe he's going to join X on the Beach or something like that. I can totally see that happening because there's been whisperings that Jeffree Star's ex, Andre Marhold, has gotten casted on a reality show and now he's posted he was, he's gonna be off the app for three months, which I'm like, what, what? I mean, I don't understand. Last last time I checked, his bread and butter was his OF page. So that might hurt him if he's just off the app for three months. Like what's gonna happen to his OF? Is it even worth you doing a reality show? So that was that drama. This damn I actually leave so much. But that was the drama with that. But anyways, more Jeffree Star drama is that Jeffree Star took to his Instagram story and he basically said that some of his yaks are gonna be used for meat. And that yak meat is something that is like really good. Let me roll you the clip, here we go. Look at little Milano, he's so curious. Come over here, boy. <laughs> we got Ember and Aspen playing on the rocks right now. Morning, everyone. Hello, how are you? I hope your Sunday is going amazing so far. It is so beautiful out today. Really nice temperatures. The sun is shining. So I'm going to get a lot of grooming done. All the yaks are starting to shed. I get asked a lot, Jeffrey, do you shave the yaks? Not really, unless there are severe mats happening. Always brush. You can save the fiber, collect it, and make some amazing things out of it. So with how many yaks we have, it should be fiber heaven this summer. 
I also have a question for everyone out there watching this. Have you, anyone out there tried yak meat? It is so delicious. And I know a lot of people are asking, Jeffrey, are you ever going to sell yak meat? Absolutely. Now, all the yaks you see with the tags and names that we train, halter, and breed, no, we're not, we're not butchering them. But we do have a meat pasture far in the back, um, and we're raising some... Hi, Tashi! <laughs> We're raising some amazing animals for food. And the whole concept of pasture to plate is so beautiful. And I've learned so much from living in Wyoming. So delicious yak meat coming soon. It is the healthiest red meat in America. Um, and we'll dive into that later. But has anyone tried it? Do you love it? Let me know. I think a lot of the times when you grow up in a big city, you don't really get the concept of food being raised right in your backyard and then feeding you later versus like living in California you guys I would drive by on the freeway these farms packed with cows thousands and thousands of cows and they're just injecting them with shit all day to try to make them bigger so unhealthy so disgusting so it's so important the older you get to learn what the fuck you're putting in your body it's so important so the concept of raising happy animals grass-fed no antibiotics, no grain, no nothing is so cool. So we're doing some cool things over here at the Star Yak Ranch and a lot more will be revealed on our website this summer coming soon. Look at this tornado over there in the rocks. I can't believe how nice it is out. I've just been known by now, but I'm in love with Wyoming. It's definitely opened up my eyes to so many things. Um, not eating fast food now for over a year. I feel amazing. My skin feels amazing. Not that it wasn't before, but I don't break out randomly anymore. I don't feel tired. I'm not having weird mood swings sometimes from the erratic eating. Um, I've changed a lot of stuff for my mental, for my health. Um, and it feels great. So some people may not understand the culture of hunting, the culture of pasture to plate, and that's okay. It's not for everyone. Not everyone gets it. Um, but my new way of life feels fucking sickening. Um, and I've never felt this healthy in my body. So I'm excited for everyone to try yak meat in the future if you haven't. Um, and we'll be shipping all over America. So I'm so excited. Good morning, everyone. I'm just getting out of the shower. Now, yesterday I was a little off grid. I've had a lot of employees in town. They're here until Sunday. So we're getting so much done on all levels, all aspects of the brands from Jeffree Star Cosmetics to the skin, to Star Lounge, to pets, to a new adventure we're gonna be doing later this year. Um, I feel amazing. Now, today in Wyoming, ooh, it's windy, bitch, um, but Boom just flew in where we have a new social media girl that we just hired and we're about to film some really fun TikToks. So let me get this skin snatched and I'll be right back. Okay, first of all, I don't ever had yak meat. I know a lot of y'all, y'all like the frog legs, y'all like the possum, y'all y'all like the raccoon meat. Also, I, girl, you miss me. I, I get it, you know. I grew up in the country. I know the country folks. I love it so much. But I just can't be eat, eating no uh, raccoon and coyote and pig. I just pig ears, pig tongue. Like I can't. And I know y'all live for y'all love the pig tail and all that stuff like that, girl. Mm -mm. Girl, no. Y'all, you go down the piggly wiggly. You can miss me with all that, girl. But I just, I can't. I just, eh. you know, I'm more of a little, you know, chicken finger, chicken, you know, kind of guy. Well, anyway, I think it's very alarming that he said that some of his yeah. I think it's what. I mean, the way I heard it. You know, I'll be getting the team wrong. The way I heard it is that he is going to eat some of the yaks or sell some of the eggs. And then he used this word called from pasture to plate and how beautiful thing it is. And how his yaks are just roaming free and they're not pumped with, you know, antibiotics and stuff like that. I, I get it. So I guess the Star Ranch, they, uh, they is the word slaughter? Maybe that's not it. Maybe that's not the word. Maybe that's not the word. Maybe it's naturally maybe the, they would naturally pass away and then i don't know how it goes maybe s we'll find out but there's been some people who don't like that I, like that idea i kind of feel like just me i like i don't why did he announce that like you know what i'm saying like why did he announce that well he should just kept that to himself because now people are going to be so upset like what yak is it do do are these yaks that we get to know like just like stuff like that you know i don't know let me know what you think about all that drama, but 
I want to do my Louis Vuitton unboxing. Well, we'll do Louis Vuitton unboxing in a minute. And if you shop at thecremeshop.com, you can use code RICHLUX to save some coin at the Creme Shop. Um, and that's an affiliate link, so I get like kickback or whatever. So I went to the Creme Shop launch party. They sent me little cute stickers. Uh, we have a few, a, like a cute little like face mask here. So this is their second collaboration with B221. So this is all about like B221 babies. So it's about like anti-aging and stuff like that. So if you're into like this whole gig, leave a comment down below. We might do a giveaway of what your favorite character is. Just drop whatever character is your favorite. And we might do a giveaway. The thing I found so interesting about this whole thing is that they had a skincare diary. I thought this was one of the most coolest things ever. Like I've never seen a skincare diary before. And they have these amazing like brushes. And there wasn't that many of these, so I'm happy I was able to snag these. Like I'm like so happy about these like these these brushes and they're super cute. They're made of they're made of plastic, it's fantastic. And they had these like little goodies that they gave people. Like see the little like lollipops are in here. I just think these are so cute. Like I love that. And it just goes on and on and the old girl they done messed up, girl. Look, they they done gave me makeup, girl. Look. This is so cute. I just, I love it so much. Like, they're so nice over there. And it's almost like it's like a three-tone. Like, I was looking at it, and at first I was like, I thought it was just like one giant, like, thing. But now that I'm looking at it here, I'm going to open it right here. So I'm going to show you what I got. So, oh, even the inside of the packaging has stuff in it. It's so cute. Okay, so that's the crimp shop. You guys are so nice. Okay, so you open it, and then look, you have three. Oh, my God, you have three of them in there. That's like the most amazing thing ever. And it has like little plastic. Oh, these are. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I did it real subtle, but oh my god. I have to be very careful because I would have to like really dab it lightly. Okay. Super cute. Okay. We have a ton haul. If you made it this far in the video, put down in the comments Louis Vuitton haul. Okay. So this is what I got Louis Vuitton. This is an unboxing. Shut up. Don't come for me. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear what you guys have to say. Okay. Like, whatever. Like, this is my life. I just want to do it. Whatever. Okay. So, this bag. Okay. So, recently, you know how I, you guys like, you guys know that I'm like obsessed with miniature stuff, like miniature makeup, miniature, like whatever. I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's easy to travel with. Like, I don't need a full size mascara on a trip. I just need, like, literally, like, just like a, mi a, a small size, right? Like, this, I don't know. I just love miniature makeup. So, Louis Vuitton started doing these miniature bags. And it's like this whole thing. It's like this, like, Japanese millionaires. I see them on Instagram. They all have these, like, like nano, mini, like, super small bags. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And the super small bags cost more than the big size bags. That's the thing. So, I got, like, a total basic bitch bag. Okay, whatever. So, this is the Speedy. And it's usually, like, this big. But this is the Speedy Nano. You see? And it's like one piece of canvas and it wraps all the way around. So I know you guys like like, like that um, tracing ASMR. So. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so this is a Speed Nano. I'm opening it right here. So I, okay, I, I plan ahead. So I got this thing, this insert inside. Let's see, it looks like that. So this right here, it doesn't come with it. You can't buy it at Louis Vuitton. You buy it off like third party websites or whatever. But you can go, which one's this one? If I remember, oh yeah, Smorga. You go to that website, you pick out the bag that you have and they have these organizers for you and you stick them in your bag. And so this is the one for this bag, right? And then here it is. And so I still got the little tag in here, girl, it's so bad. But it protects your bag too, but so that's what it looks like in the inside. And you can carry it this way if you want. Or it comes with the straps, you can do the strap thing. But I don't know, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, like, I don't like it with the straps, I like it without the straps. I just like carrying it like this. I just think it's, I just think it's super cute. Like, I really do think it's super cute. Cause you can put your miniature makeup in there and you can put like all your like minutes or stuff that you really do like. But this, don't even get me started on how much this bag was. I don't wanna hear it, okay. But I just, I love Louis Vuitton. It's like collector's piece. 
and I just think it's super cute and it's like, oh, it's so cute. I'm so much. So I'm gonna like put this here. But anyway, so that was my Louis Vuitton haul. Oh, and I picked up this shirt at Walmart. So I freaking went to Walmart because I went to Disney the other day. And when I was there, I wanted to buy like a Disney shirt. Because I think, guys, I didn't want to buy a Disney shirt at Disney because they're like $30, $40, right? But if you go to like a Target or a Walmart that's outside of Disney, like right near the Disney, they usually have this huge selection of like Mickey Mouse stuff or like Mickey stuff you can buy because they know you're gonna go to the park and it's like $10. So this shirt was like $7.88 and it's super cute. And it was the only one and it's like oversized. It's like 2X or 3X, something like that. It's just so big for me, but I put it on with him, like some tight black shorts and like some big chunky like shoes. So it gives you like, like I don't know, I guess, I don't know what you call that style. It's like that, mm, like Harajuku boy street style, like just like kind of like that. So it's like oversized baggy shirt, like small above the knee black shorts with like the, like a good wedge shoe. And it's like that, right? It's like very cool. It's very like... I don't know, it's very like, I'm like, mm, I'm like a Dubai millionaire. Like that type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like rich in Manhattan, you know, Park Avenue princess, you know, edgy, like, you know, kind of like that. So I wore that to Disney and like I freaking loved it and it was super easy and it was like flowy. Like, oh, I think I'm gonna start doing that more. But anyways, that was my video. Let me think about all that drama. Oh, just dropped my bag. Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.